B B B B B B triple B B's. I have little B's. <laughs> oh my gosh! One day I'm gonna get this intro right. Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We're about to turn up the base again. I have the brand new one size B B B foundation. I am so excited, you guys, to try this out. You know, some of the one size beauty products are my holy grails. Yes, even on my over 40 skin, it just plays very well. Patrick Star, so proud of you. You've done such an amazing job with this brand. I can't wait to try this out. We're going to do a full day wear test. It is early in the morning and I am loving so far the way everything's turned out. So stay tuned for all of that. If you're new here, I'm Christy. I'd really love for you to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you can join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time and please give this video a huge thumbs up and click that like button when you hit the like button and when you comment below and say hello, it really does help my videos out. You can shop my new merch at GlamorousLifeCollections.com and follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram, on TikTok, Christy Allure, and on my blog, ChristyAllure.com. And without further ado, let's get started. <music> It's about 8.11, so we are doing a full day wear test, and we are going to try out this new one size Turn Up The Base BBB B cream. <laughs> oh my goodness, that, that, that one can be kind of tough to say. It's a beauty blur balm foundation. I think it's meant to be like a skin tint BB cream, but it's its own little twist on it. So this is $33, it's one ounce, 30 mils. You guys, this is only a dollar 10 per mil. So you do get quite a bit of product in here. And this is a very interesting packaging. I actually really, really like it. I'll show you the up close shots right there. You do have to twist off the cap like that. And I already removed the seal, but there was a silver seal. The only thing I can say so far from just playing with this and swatching it is it does get quite Quite a bit dirty and then when you push this up like that product does kind of seep out so you will have to be careful of that um, it's already on my finger and everything when you travel so that's the only only criti slight criticism I would say one thing to note about one size products is they do tend to run a little bit darker so I tend to go really I'm actually really low down on the list in his color spectrum I wear just for reference 2g for my concealer I wear 2N for all over my face in the Turn Up The Base Foundation Powder and I use 2R because I like to brighten the under eyes. You guys know this is, I mean, I've already bought three of these now. I've already hit pan on it several times. So true holy grail of mine for under the eye, but that's like a pinkish undertone, like a rosy undertone, which really brightens the under eye, especially for mature skin. And then this is 2N for all over the face. So we will be using that today. This is light three neutral. So I'll show you the swatches of that first, and then we'll go into the shades I did swatch at Sephora. They didn't have light three in store to swatch, so I just, I already had it at home. So I'm just showing you fair one, and that is a fair neutral, and then light 
two, which is their light golden. That definitely I knew was not gonna be my match. Medium one would be another one I could possibly lean into. That is a little bit more olive, but right now that's way too dark for my current skin tone. And then medium two, which is medium golden undertone. This is a three in one medium coverage liquid foundation with a very natural finish. It's powered by skincare to blur the skin texture, absorb oil, and boost hydration. A breathable, undetectable second skin like finish. It is oil free, alcohol free, long wearing, vegan, and cruelty free. Its highlighted ingredients are white rose stem cells derived from Japanese white rose, known for resiliency, quickly improves the appearance of skin tone and absorbs oil over time. And it has avocado and mango hydro blend, which boost hydration for visibly smooth texture. But mango butter and avocado oil are actually pretty far down on the list, which means there's probably about less than 1% when you really look at the ingredients. Mango butter is actually an anti-inflammatory. Its antibacterial properties speed up healing. It's also non-comedogenic. Now, avocado, on the other hand, has high levels of oleic acid. It can be comedogenic. The rating is three. I didn't see anything else in there that should affect my skin, I mean, except for avocado oil, but again, that's towards the end. So let's jump into the application process. We are going to use a sponge on one side. Maybe we might even start with our fingers, you know, like in little sections, and then maybe use a sponge and then use a brush on the other side. We'll just kind of play around with it. I'm just going to squeeze it on to the back of my hand. So I, I want to like pump it, but it's not a pump, it's a squeeze. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of, it's not runny, so it is pretty thick texture, which to me tells me it's going to be more of a full coverage effect. So let's try it with our fingers first. I have double mirrors here. So we'll just, I'm gonna put it right here just so you guys can see. I thought that was something there as my beauty mark. Um, I don't know why I always use my middle finger. I swear I'm not flipping you guys off. So that's kind of what it looks like on my skin. And then we'll just kind of spread this out and see how that looks. And again, there's no primer on this side. I'm trying it without a primer on this side. And then we'll go in with the primer on the other side. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be, even though it's a natural coverage, it kind of feels moussey, which means to tell me I do feel like this is going to be more of a matte dry down. I have, and I'll put my skin details right there, I do have a uh, normal to dry skin. Very beautiful, actually. Wow, that's really pretty. I don't even have a primer underneath there. And that's just using your fingers. So if you're somebody that likes to use your fingers, um, this is actually a good way, and we'll just kind of pad that in. But that's going over really, really nicely. It's actually a perfect color match, too. All right, now let's try it with the sponge and see what we get out of that. And that was just one pump. And we'll just kind of spread that around. And if you do have very dry skin, I still think this is going to be really pretty because it is has a moussey texture. So I do feel like it, you can still get away with it. And you can always mix oils and moisturizers in there with the product. So know that. All right, now let's put a primer on this side. I haven't put, I'm going to do a little bit on my forehead. I'm just going to do a little bit with my hand. Again, I'm not putting a lot a product on my forehead because I have lines there. All right, so let's do this side with my primer that you guys know I just love and trust, and this is my Smashbox one. I want to give it a fair shot, so I don't want to use a primer that I'm not in love with. So this is my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It just is my holy grail smoothing primer right now because it does not break me out and it is extremely smoothing on the skin. All right, so another pump or squeeze, I should say. And I only did one, so that's only a total of two squeezes. I am gonna just apply it first with my finger and just kind of put it on there. And then we'll go in with a brush. No, this is more of a softer brush. This isn't necessarily a, uh, a brush that is going to drop a lot of pigment, but you really don't need it. I'm going to pull a little bit down the neck. This is where I like the brush. Just to make sure we have everything blended in. Let's do a Kabuki brush. This is just a Sigma F80. 
so yeah, a, you know, a flat kabuki brush is always going to drop a lot more pigment in there. So if you have areas that you want to cover up, that's really pretty. I'm going to take the rest onto my sponge. I really like this. This is a beautiful foundation so far. Uh, I do think it goes on really nice with your fingers. Uh, I do see just when I'm looking in my magnifying mirror, which just basically tells me a lot. I actually like patting in the product with my finger, but I like the primer side better. I just feel like it kind of fills in those pore areas. So that's, you know, and that's what primers are meant to do. So, um, yeah, we'll have to see. I think it's going to cake a little through here, but you know, the time will tell. We'll just have to see. And we haven't set it down yet. So remember that this is just foundation only. I'm just going to quickly do my concealer. This is the 2G from one size turn up the base. You guys know this is actually my number one concealer. I have to say that I've been reaching for this more than the ABH one because I like the color tone the best. And I like that I get just full coverage. I can use it all over my face. It doesn't break me out. Whereas the ABH one with a little bit of coconut oil in there makes me a little nervous. So I have been, this has been right now currently my number one concealer. I love that with this concealer, it just goes on in that just minimal amount I can put on there. Well, minimal for me, take that with a grain of salt. And I like that I can just blend this in with a sponge. It doesn't take away any product and it just glides and just makes that under eye look so incredibly flawless. One thing you wanna make sure to do, one tip, and I'm gonna include this in my over 40 essentials video, is to not go in with your powder right away. Let that concealer set down a little bit. If you go in there when it's wet, it is going to crease up. And I think a lot of people make that mistake. They wanna go in there right away because it's they don't want it to crease, but really you need to let it dry down. And then you can go back in with the blender when it's you know not so damp and smooth out any creases before you set down. But I think that is one of the biggest mistakes that people make is they go, and I was doing that, honestly, I was doing that, is they go in too fast with the powder. All right, going in now with my one size. Ever since I started using a puff to set my under eyes, it's just been a huge game changer. It really does set it so flawlessly, more than any other application. Now for the outer perimeters, I'm going to take 2N from one size turn up the base foundation. I really take my time with that and I really press that into the skin, not adding any extra powder, but just taking the time and pressing that in is ensuring that the product is going to not move around and really give you that staying power. All right, you guys, so I did most of my makeup off camera just because I want to speed up the process. I am going to try out this Hourglass Ambient. This is the one that released at uh, the, during the holiday collection. This was the volume three to their face palettes for dark skin, but I actually like it for bronzer. Very um, pigmented, this one. I'm just gonna go and see how pretty that is. It looks really good on light medium skin tones. I was afraid it was gonna pull a little too much red, but it's actually really beautiful. All right, let's go in and just do a quick eyeshadow look with the one size palette. This is always on sale, you guys. I love this palette. So we're gonna go in with Taupe of My Game and just do a very natural look. We're gonna start off with that shadow and just kind of put that into the socket. We're not doing anything too crazy. It's a good one to contour with as well. Let's take this BK Beauty 202 and we're gonna go in to Suede Charm. We're gonna go in with Title Holder, like a gold.
All right, you guys, so I finished the rest of my makeup off camera. I did add a little bit of my Pat McGrath metallic in there just because that metallic wasn't grabbing as much as I want it to, but I try to keep it very natural and warm looking today, and his palette is really amazing. I don't know if it's still on sale, but typically it's always on sale. I did use the Makeup by Mario, and this is in Pinky Brown. This is so beautiful. They're so amazing, you guys. What a beautiful color. They wear very comfortably, so they have a little bit more staying power than even his matte velvet lipsticks and I love that but they're extremely comfortable I have been wearing this one the last couple days and I found my new favorite lip liner this is the new Anastasia Beverly Hills lip liners oh my god these are the number one lip liners for me right now this is in hazelnut oh it is beautiful they glide on perfectly but not too slippery where it like runs so it's kind of like if Pat McGrath Persona and uh, Charlotte Tilbury had a baby, this would be the perfect lip liner and that's what it created. And it is the perfect color for my skin tone. So love that. If you're close to me, that is a beautiful, beautiful color. So this is my criteria right here. As you guys already know, this is what I look for when I'm looking for a foundation or a concealer, I wanna make sure it's meeting all of those criteria. And I'm just gonna give you my star rating at first impression of how it looks right now and how it's been wearing the last couple hours that I've been filming. And honestly, you guys, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Now, is this something I would wear every day? No, because I do feel like it is fuller coverage and I do feel like it is kind of seeping into my creases a little bit. And I have frown lines. I have, you know, right here, I have frown lines. I have the laugh lines. So, for me, you know, I'm just gonna show my iPhone footage right there too, or you know, just what it looks like not under all of the lights. But in a magnifying mirror, I can kind of see a little bit. So I do like the side that I used the primer. I do feel like, like I said earlier, it fills in the gaps. Whereas this side, I do feel like, you know, it's it's settling into my pores a little bit. I think it is really beautiful and I'd like to test this out even lighter than I put it on today. I used it as like a full coverage foundation. I would actually like to see if I just kind of mix this with my moisturizer and put it on almost like a tinted moisturizer. I kind of want to see how that plays. So I'm going to test that out maybe in another video. Comment below if you if you want me to do that. But yeah, I, I do really think it is beautiful though. It looks pretty flawless. So I'm gonna give this, actually I'm gonna give it four out of five stars because I do really love the way it applied. I like that I can either do it with a brush, a sponge, or your fingers. No matter what, it applied beautifully. It is like has that moussey texture, so I do appreciate that. Uh, the only thing I can say is I really love the packaging. I love how it's gonna be so easy to travel with, but it does, it does seep. So that's my only concern with traveling a little bit is how dirty is it going to get? So that's the only, that's my only downfall to that, but four out of five stars, you guys, I do think it is a beautiful product. Comment below and let me know if this was something that you had on your list. If you use any of the one size products, comment below and let me know what your favorite one size product is, or if you have this in your cart or have already tested it out, let me know. Love you guys so much. Again, go to my merch store, glamorouslifecollections.com. We have a lot of fun items items in there. Thank you for all the love and support. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, you guys. And please share this video with your friends and family. I really want to see my channel grow this year and it's kind of at a stagnant point. So I'd really love if you can share this with other family members and friends. And the more people share my videos, the more it gets out there. So I really do appreciate that, you guys. And please give this video a huge thumbs up, you guys. Again, that really helps my videos out when you hit the like button and when you comment below follow me at christy allure on instagram on tiktok christy allure and all of my social media accounts and i will see you guys next sunday all right you guys i wanted to do a midday check-in and just kind of let you guys see what it looked like outdoors it's doing the typical full coverage semi matte finish thing where it does you know kind of settle into my fine lines of course i am over 40 for young girls you won't have that problem but i do really think it is a beautiful foundation so far hope you guys appreciate that and i will see you at the end of the night 
All right, Glam Cam, we are at the end of the night. If you hear anything in the background, that is my computer on overdrive because I have been editing all day, which is why I still have my glasses on. It is 9.40, so we did over a, a little over a 12-hour wear test today. I've had this on since 8 o'clock this morning. As you can see, it is worn on my nose because only because I was blowing my nose a lot today. So it was very runny. I'm 44. I have lines. I've never had anything done to my face. So... Yeah, it's going, liquid foundation, 99.9% .9 of them are going to, you know, accentuate over time of wearing the foundation. I think other than that, this is truly a very innovative BBBB cream foundation and Patrick Starr did an amazing job with this. He did 11% pigment and I forgot to mention that and I think he did a really good job with it. I think it stands out compared to other BB creams so I think that's why he really kind of took a twist on that and developed something really great. If you guys watch his video, I know I inserted some of his b-roll into the beginning of this video but if you really watch the video, he is coming out with the foundation, he said, so I'm excited for that. But he wanted to start off with something a little bit lighter weight. I forgot I even had makeup on, you guys. I truly did. I like that Patrick Star has really developed one size for all and really making it not just for the younger generation, but for us ladies over 40 as well. For guys, girls, women, Men, you are going to love this. So I stand by my four out of five. I'm almost bordering on four and a half stars, you guys, like almost five stars, because this is really held up a lot nicer than I even anticipated at first. So I knew it looked beautiful, but I wasn't quite sure how it was gonna hold up on my mature skin for this long of a period. And for not, literally not even paying attention to it and forgetting that I even have it on and that's what I appreciate more than anything. So you guys saw the outdoor check-in earlier. It was still beautiful. So we have more foundations to test in upcoming videos. I have the new Makeup Forever one coming up. So hope you guys enjoyed that. I love you so much. Thank you for the support. If you're new here, please consider hitting that no, just please hit that subscribe button. I'd really love for you to join our beautiful glam fam. Hit that like button, you guys, and share this video with your family and friends, and I will see you on the next one. Love you guys. Bye.